Hi, I'm Cynthia. I personally think that art is one of the best way to meditate. When you exercise, physically I mean, you train your body to be stronger. If you want to train your mind to focus and to be more aware, you meditate. Just as there are many types of exercise programs when you want to train your body, there's many ways to meditate, but the result and the goal is the same. A clear mind and a deeply rooted sense of calm and balance. The way you choose to meditate is a personal choice. I love art and I love meditation through art. Some meditation types are based around the idea of focusing your attention on something. A candlelight, your breathing, a mantra to help you free your mind of the daily chatter. Another method is mindfulness and that is to recognize a passing thought and be a silent observer, letting it happen and letting it go without judgment, being aware of each moment as it's passing. What I'm proposing is a little bit of both, using painting or drawing as a way to focus your attention and free your mind of some of the thoughts that are constantly running in our head, but also mindfulness, Give your full attention to the experience of putting pigment on paper without any judgment, being fully in the moment as each moment is passing. I'm going to suggest a few things, but you have to adapt it to your own personal preference, comfort, whatever makes you feel good. So the frequency and length is really up to you. The most important thing for me is to make it a fun, positive experience so that I want to come back to it as much as possible. When you draw and paint, it's easy to lose track of time and to do it for an hour. I would say to keep it shorter, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and to keep you wanting more so the next day you'll really want to come back to the table. That's a way to build up a taste for it and to create a positive habit. But it's just a thought, you do what you like. I personally place a lot of importance on physical comfort. For you, that could mean having a special corner of your house, a place that is quiet, beautiful to a certain extent, or at least comfortable. Comfortable clothes, room temperature, putting incense maybe could help you, putting very calm music, a few candles, whatever tends to make you in a calm and centered mood. I personally love the scent of lavender. I like a completely silent room and good lighting. Creating a special art meditation space that is going to be friendly and inviting for you. Material-wise, I love watercolor for meditations because it requires a very minimal setup and because of the natural flow of watercolors, to me, they are, by their own essence, very meditative. Just looking at a puddle of water, having the colors dance on the page without you having to do much is very, very calming and centering. You can pick any material that resonates with you. It could be charcoal or pastel or anything. Think about the physical experience of putting the pigment on paper. You might love how charcoal feels when you draw with it and that might be very calming to you, the sound and the feel. So think about that, that physical experience that you get when using a specific material. One key element for me is to keep to a very minimal setup, not a lot of material and have every single item laid out so that I don't have to, one, make decisions in deciding to take which colors or try to mix colors or having to get up, be interrupted in my flow to go get something that I forgot. So I select only one or two colors that tend to make me feel calm. Same for brushes, one or two. I have my paper ready, every other little bits like towels, water jars. The way to think of it is to put the emphasis on putting pigment on paper, observing it happen without any judgment or thinking what you would like it to look like or what you would like the experience to be or what the end result is, or whatever you should or should not be doing. The point would be to eliminate all questions, all decision-making, and to just, without thinking, putting pigment on paper, focusing on that experience, enjoying that moment, and the next, and the next, and the next. For that reason, abstract art is for me the best way to do it. It puts you in touch with your younger self, with a purest sense of, spontaneity, it removes judgment or a critical voice 
maybe passing comments on what you're doing. We just want to be imbibed with the pure experience of it. I've always wanted to meditate. I've tried different methods as well, but it always kind of felt like a chore to me in a way. I knew that it was good for me, but it felt like a chore, like something I had to do, but I never got to a point where I craved it, I wanted it for my personal being, and I felt the rewards of it. But using art as a way to meditate makes me want to do it constantly, makes me want to come back to it regularly, and I feel like I'm getting the benefits on the spot right away. It makes me feel good, and that feeling tends to linger longer. You might want to collect your meditation in a special box or a special place. You might want to put a date in the back of it, or put a, a thought or a word that comes to mind, or not. It's all up to you. I'd like to maybe make a series of this, exploring different art mediums, see what we could do with them through meditation. If you think this could bring joy to someone close to you, please share. And if you want more inspiration, you can watch this next.